A slithering good time, huh? Since when is slithering fun? If anything, it looks like it's a lot of work for those poor reptiles. <laughs> The Hunt for the Blood Orchid. Now the plot for Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid follows a team of scientists who are going on the hunt for the blood orchid in the jungle. And there's lots of snakes, lots of action, but a very little bloodshed. It's PG-13 like its predecessor, but even the first one had tons of gore. What the heck? Now Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid could be considered a reboot or a retelling of the Anaconda franchise because this one is the basically first origin story of the sequels to come next. Now the snakes in the Anaconda looked pretty good, but the CGI snake looked bad and the animatronic snake looked the best. And in Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid, the snakes, they look good, but for the opposite reason. The animatronic snake looks look like crap, and the CGI is just a little bit better than the first film CGI. Now, one thing you can find in common with both Anaconda films is that all the characters are pretty much assholes. The first film had scientist assholes, and the second film had business assholes. But they're both trying to be badass assholes, both character sets. And it just, it works in a cheesy, fun way. So I have to give her props to both films for that. But which film is better? Which one has the most action, the best snake attacks, and just the most fun attitude? Well, I'd have to give her props to the first film. Not only does it have all that, but it has atmosphere, it has tension. And this film, it just feels like a pure action film. But Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid is still a fun time, and it's a Definite recommendation for me, and I just, I grew up watching this film all the time. Now the score by Narita Tyson Chu is actually pretty good. It's not as good as the first film score, but it's still pretty enjoyable. Also, the film is directed by Dwight H. Little, who directed Halloween for The Return of Michael Myers. That's pretty awesome. If you can accept B-movies, then this is definitely a film worth checking out if you haven't already. Overall, I give Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid a 3.5 out of five. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.